It would be neat to go down there, but I would want to go down there when they're launching something. You know? And actually see a launch would be way cool. But just to see it all would be neat, but a launch would be better. You know, talking about getting into, like, space stuff. Like, I've always been interested in it, at least to a point. You know, because, like, I do remember the last, like, I, I do remember shuttle missions. And, like, seeing that, because they would show them on TV and stuff, and, like, they were awesome. So I've always kind of had an, in an interest in it, but, of course, Elon has made it all so cool now that how could you not at least watch some of it, you know? Man. Went to the Cape to see a SpaceX launch. Oh, that'd be so cool. Be super cool. Yes, it's locked up. All right. Gotta love it. Love to see it. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's like the worst part of GPS is when it locks up and goes stupid on you. Oh, yeah. That's. Yeah. And it's like really yeah, it makes you go in reverse or yeah just doesn't let you steer out of it yeah that's fun love to see it i do like space history bert yeah i there's nothing more fascinating to me than going back and watching a uh, shuttle launch or a shuttle landing or any of that stuff. It's it's way cool. One of my favorite movies of all time is Apollo 13. Love that movie. It's so good. So, you know. It's also Tom Hanks. And, well, you know, he doesn't. He hits stingers. So that's all he does. So There's not a bad Tom Hanks movie that I've ever seen anyway. And he was Captain Sully. Good one. He was uh, on that... Uh, what was the one where the, the boat got taken hostage, like the big ship? Uh, what was that one called? Captain Phillips. Was that what it was? Yeah, that was a good movie. It's a great movie, too. They're all good. I've never seen Castaway. Somehow I'm, I missed that one. Obviously, Forrest Gump, you know, like, great movie. Oh, a, lot of, a lot of good movies there. From uh, Tom Hanks. That's for sure. Alright. Back it up. Let's go. GPS line up. And we drive again. Back and forth. Yeah, space history is cool. Yeah. Why not? And then Elon just made it all like even cooler now. Like it's so neat. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of say uh, Bezos, but I'll definitely be watching when he goes up. I did watch a little bit of the uh, uh, what was it, the Virgin Galactic stuff yesterday. I watched a little bit of that. That was pretty cool too. Literally take a 747 up and like pull up and turn and drop it, the rocket thingy, and it went shooting up. I guess it all went well. I saw Richard Branson was very, very happy about it, so I guess everything went well, huh? It was cool, though. The airplane didn't go boom, so. True. He is. Elon is amazing. Yeah. And he was kind of amusing on SNL. A little bit. Not really, but a little. <laughs> I saw a picture of his the other day because, like, you know, it was his birthday the other day. And somewhere somebody dug up, like, a birthday photo of his when he was, like, a teenager. It was, it was real awkward looking. But it was kind of funny. Definitely amusing. All right, 70%. Bad. We'll be able to get this uh, field done, Sarge, without having to empty. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'd be close yeah. on one combine too. No, I guess not. No, never mind. Yeah, that put trucks at both ends just in yeah, case. I noticed that. <laughs> now sorghum will be a different story. Sorghum has quite a high yield. And of course it's on the biggest field we have. Because why not? Why not? Man, I can't wait for today's uh, daily SpaceX video. Or not SpaceX. NASA Space Flight. They put out daily videos from Boca Chica. And uh, there's been big things happening there today. So it's going to be crazy. Not even the space stuff. They like like Tesla and stuff. What else is he doing besides Tesla? It's not space stuff. Solar roofs, I guess. Who knows? Ah, uh, the boring company. Get the boring company. Proud about that. Okay, somehow you and I just a smidge off from each other. How oh, are we, Sarge? Yeah. Did you do auto with her? Or did you do sixty? I did auto. Oh, okay. I bought mine up to sixty. That's. That's, yep. where there's that little strip. All right, Casey, is there is there a is there a joke there? Are you asking about the chicken place? Because I'm assuming there's a joke there, right? Probably I'm assuming there's a joke there, and so I'm not going to answer that question because. You're probably trying to get me to say something that is inappropriate. If I had to guess. Because we weren't talking about like eating or fast food at all. We're over here talking about space stuff. You know? That's like a left field. Yeah. I'm I'm assuming you're trying to get me to like say something uh, inappropriate or something, you know? one of those TikTok things, right? Although I haven't, uh, haven't heard that one. You're asking if I like it. No jokes. It's okay. That's all I'll say. Not my favorite place to go, but it's all right. So, yeah. Because, you know, if somebody say, comes in and says, oh, do you like Wendy's? You know? Everybody knows where that one's going. At least a lot of people do. So, I don't answer. A lot of those kind of weird questions I'd just rather not even uh, talk about, honestly. But I don't mind answering questions on the other hand. But I want y'all to... Make me say something that uh, I shouldn't say, you know? Mm -hmm. That is all. All right, Sarge. Good little field to knock out. A good little. This is not. A, this is a good sized field. We just happen to have like OP combines. That's yep. all. Big deal. And they got the rigging on that crane already, Trent. Holy cow. They don't mess around, yeah, do they? Looks like they're starting to lift the hook. Yeah. Looks a little like it. But if I had to choose a fast food restaurant to eat at... Taco Bell's still probably at the top of my list. Either Taco Bell. I had Wendy's for lunch yesterday. Don't take the joke, chat. <laughs> I'll do it. If Carson was here. He'd be he'd be making the joke. They're pretty good. Had some had some nuggets. Mm, yummy, yummy.
Friday. Taco Bell or Sheets? Nice. Isn't Sheets like a gas station? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, now, Watson, I'm playing uh, Automation Empire tomorrow night. How's it going? No trucking for me. All right. I've never been to a Sheets. I've heard of them. Kind of like a Wawa. I've never been to a Wawa either. Yeah, I see, I've never been to them either. I just heard about them. Yeah. Or a, a Publix. I've never been to a Publix either. No, it's a grocery store in Florida. Never been to one of them. Oh, yeah. Of course, I've never been to Florida, so... That might be why, huh? I got you. Is this game hard to learn? No. I wouldn't say so. Especially if you have, like... I don't want to say, oh, I'm losing my header. Oh, no. Uh, I wouldn't say if you have farming experience, but, like, if you've been around a farm at all... And like, say you know what the difference is between a combine and a, you know, a tractor. This game's not hard to learn at all, no. Or if you know the difference between, you know, a grain head and a corn head. Not hard to learn. Not at all. That was, wow, way, way to hook up there, John. Way to hook up there, John. Holy cow. Public sells bush lights, they're fine by you. Hey, bush light, bud light. Wait, bush light, not bud light. Hey, hey Sarge, this is a carn head we need, by the way. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. And here I am over here talking about, you know, as long as you know the difference between a green head and a carn head. <laughs> and then I take the wrong header to the field. Look at me, chat. You were here, everybody. You were here. It happened. All right. Now, see, you guys are talking about pub, or not publish, but like Wawa, our sheets, and now oh, I'm over here going, how about Casey's? You know, yeah, say Casey's. our quick trip, the old QT, you know? Don't have one of those. Oh, Got loves. Quick trip is great. Oh well. Interesting the customization it's gotta love Casey's, right? That's probably mm -hmm. the redneck in me coming out. Quick star. I heard of that. We have Circle K. Circle K is a big, big one around St. Louis. Yeah, big trip is probably K in town. Yeah. Casey's is great for pizza. Yes. Might be a bit of a Casey's uh, pizza fan. Fan. How's it going, guys? Welcome in. Appreciate y'all being here. Hanging out, hopefully enjoying your time. We're gonna go harvest some sorghum. Not what I wanted to unfold, but you know. Yeah. The sheets for food, huh? Oh, oh. Quick Trip has Quick Trip has the whole kitchen <coughs> thing in it now. Pretty much all their stores. Um, massive kitchen. You can walk in there, and they got a touch screen, and you can order. Anything you want. I mean, they got tons of food now. Tons and tons of food. I guess these gas stations have learned that, like, that's where you make money. You know, it's not on gas. It's the stuff you sell inside, of course, so. Yeah, it's basically what sheets is. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go around the field like twice, Sarge, before I like okay. worry about GPS or anything. All right. 
I have not watched the Jeremy Clarkson farm thing yet. No, I need to watch it though. I've heard good things. Mm -hmm. Have you watched it, Sarge? No, I haven't. Okay. Be kind I, of the same thing. I've heard good stuff. My one brother, every time I see him, he just harps on me about I need to watch it. So. Oops. Oops. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for that follow, by the way. Appreciate you. Welcome in. I'm missing over here. I was not paying attention. Goodness me. But yeah, no, gas station food, it's kind of crazy that like, gas station food is as good as it is. You know, like cheats or blah blah or quick trip or any of that stuff. See, everybody for years, I always thought like 7 Eleven was like the creme de la creme you know and we don't really have them around here we have like two in the whole st louis area that i can think of i'm sure there's more but never really like went to 7-eleven never really been there i mean i've had like a slurpee ever they're okay I mean, it's just sugar water let's be real so i really uh really cared about this whole slurpee thing it's actually 7-eleven's coming up 10 more days go get your free slurpee Hashtag not sponsored. So yeah. Oh, do you have a Sonic? Are you? Sonic? Yeah. I do. Yeah. Not really a fan. I mean, their jalapeno poppers really? are pretty great, but I'm like burp them three days later still. So. I don't know. We like growing up, we used to go to Sonic once in a while, but I just. I don't know. Their burgers are okay. Yeah, they're not bad. I think they're uh, burritoed. You think there's 14 7-Elevens in your small town? Holy cow. Every time we talk about Casey's, I think of uh, Chillicothe, Missouri. Lord James used to live there. And they have, it's a little tiny town with like hardly anybody living there. They have three Casey's in town. There's one by the highway that's the truck stop. There's one in the midtown. There's one north of town. And, uh... The one north of town definitely had the best pizza. Because we ordered from all three while we were there. So, Yeah. Whataburger? Yeah, I've heard good things about them. Never had. I had Whataburger in an airbird. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Never had it. Trip down south. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you went down to Lake Texas, didn't you? Yeah. Forgot about that. Never had Whataburger, never had In N Out. Here, In N Out's really good too. Never had it. STL has the farthest north Waffle House. Really? Waffle House isn't everywhere? And you have my interest. I'm Googling. I got a Waffle House store locator. Or store tracker. Wafflehouse.com. Okay, let's go there. Uh, find store. I mean, I don't know. Anybody ever eat at Waffle House? Because I sure don't. Wait. You know, it's not going to show me all the stores. Is it? Darn. It's only really showing me the ones around me. Oh. Alright. Good old Waffle House. I'm not really really a fan of the old Waffle House, honestly. I've only been there once, actually. Two o'clock in the morning, I got a bowl of chili. Kind of weird, I know. Good drunk food. That's probably why I don't like it. I don't go out and get drunk. I wouldn't know. 
Here in Iowa and St. Louis is the closest. Holy cow. I'm going to guess it's not worth the trip, you know? Well, anything open late? Yeah, I got you. See, for years here, it was like Steak and Shake was the big thing that was always open like late, late, late. And now it's like you can't drive through the drive through at Steak and Shake because they have no help. They're open. Like, it's terrible. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Yeah, we went there once at like 2 o'clock in the morning after a bonfire at the farm. Uh, no alcohol was consumed, but we went to Waffle House. I had a bowl of chili. I didn't even get a waffle. I don't know what I was thinking. No idea. Yeah, they're kind of everywhere here, honestly. Waffle House. Not really a thing. Not, not for me. That's okay. Not for everybody. Yeah, Steak and Shake, man, used to be like the thing here in St. Louis. And staying open, you know, 24 hours a day. I don't think they are anymore. And like most of them are gone. There's one they turned into an urgent care, actually. So, yeah, kind of weird. Right. Be interested to see how much grain I get just off one time around the field. I know I haven't been taking a full pass the whole time either. A lot. Uh, nobody wants to work anymore. That's the problem. Nobody wants to work right now. Which, I mean, why would you want to when the, you know, you're getting paid to sit at home? Why would you want to go work? Makes perfect sense to me. But that's a whole other debate. We don't need to. Uh, that's a rabbit hole we don't need to go down, you know? I'm saying. What other place? I want to try Shake Shack. I hear they're really good. Uh, I mean, we'd have to go to like the fancy part of St. Louis to get that. And I don't really, uh, I don't really fit in in the fancy part of St. Louis, you know. Working, but so, you know, I don't mean the people that work from home. I mean the people that aren't that working. working. Yeah. That are, uh, you know. Yeah. Oh, Nashville. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Like we went to uh, we went to Atlanta one time. It was my brother's wedding, and we were rolling in. There were already like family members there, and for some reason we all just wanted to eat at a Denny's. Like my carload of people, there were four of us in a vehicle, and we had decided we're like, man, Denny's sounds really banging right now. So we like called ahead because you know Denny's. You, I think Denny's are everywhere, but apparently they're not. And uh, so we we call ahead to the the car of family from up here that was already there we're like hey we really want a denny's can you find us a denny's because i don't know if any of us had smartphones back then maybe maybe one person did but i don't i don't think so and we're just like man denny's sounds really good can y'all find us a denny's and then they just kept saying well there's a cracker barrel across the street and we're like that's not denny's we want denny's and we went through like a 20 minute conversation about like we don't want cracker barrel we want denny's I think we ended up at uh, uh, White Castle instead. <laughs> Maybe. I don't remember. Collar shirt and khakis you can fit in anywhere. Y'all ever walk into Target and just feel like you don't belong? That yes, ever happen? All the time. Really? Me too. I'm not a fan of Target. Especially like when I'm mainly in the country and then I go in my special to Target. Yeah, Denny's went downhill. Yeah, a little bit. It's still pretty good though. We get it like we get like Denny's to go every once in a while here at the house. Although last like two times we've had it, I just ordered myself a pizza. That's pretty much on Sunday nights we don't. Uh, I don't cook. 
And so dad's like, what do you want? I'm like, pizza. And he's like, yeah, I don't want that. I'm like, okay. Y'all get what you want, I'll get what I want. Power regional. Yeah. <laughs> so. I'd rather order me a, uh, like a, uh, what's it called? Little Caesar's Pizza. Instead of getting, uh, Denny's. Those are good. I know. And I'm really all about their thin crust right now, so I, that's what I get. All right, 49, six, seven, right? For the corn head? Yeah. Uh, zero, 40, zero, five. You're right. For the reason that's been like, Brain. Stuck in your brain. I should put a sticky note on my monitor. Ever since uh, Griffin. Wait, that's not right at all, though, Trent. What? Wait. Thought it was. 49? 49. No, 40. 40. Oh, I did 49. Like, man, that's, that's way over. Way over, Trent. All right. Well, as they say, pitter patter, right? Yeah, that'll work. All right. So I think what I'll do is cut here a little bit, and then I'll uh, empty, and then I'll start working on the small part of the field. Go wherever you want, Sarge. It's all good. We can set that'll our work. We can put a yeah. shotgun course play too if we want. Total empty for us. Good. Yeah, and we'll do that here in a minute. We're going to fill it up fairly efficiently. I mean, sorghum does have a pretty good yield. That's not bad. Yeah. This was all fertilized up and limed. Well, mostly limed. Course play limed, can you tell? <laughs> Definitely tell the corners that we used uh, course play. What about Waffle House? Not Waffle House. IHOP. Another like, breakfast Those are, spot. Those are good. Used to take my grandma there, and I would get the biscuit and gravy. And it's like the plate is the size of like a computer monitor, like it's huge. And they roll it out, and they're just like, "Here's your plate." Okay, what'd you guys say the width was? Forty point zero five. Zero five. Yeah, forty zero five. Okay. The biscuit and gravy was bad. Yeah, we though. used to have uh, an IHOP. In campus, but I don't know. Gotcha. Alright. Last time I was there, it was there. But... I used to know a waitress that I helped. But you didn't get her number. Bro, she was like 50. I don't know. She was my friend's mom, actually. <laughs> like, calm down, Trent. <laughs> <laughs> Never been to IHOP? I got you. Actually, remember, I, I talk about this kid occasionally that like got kicked out of his house uh, for, for cooking meth. Remember him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was his mom, dude. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely was not trying to, you know, get with that. Just saying. Oh, man. Definitely not trying to do anything with her. <laughs> but she was nice enough lady, but you know, she was like my buddy's mom. And not like a buddy's hot mom either, you know? Like hmm. Oh, I understand. Not at all. I'm pretty sure she was sampling the product before you'd sell it. So Yeah. That was that was a whole mm -mm. whole weird weird family. The dad was the only one that was like sane out of that family. He was pretty cool. I used to see him down at the home shows. Down in St. Louis, he was one of the, like the uh, laborers that would work at the convention center. So if they needed like carpet rolled out or just anything to put on a convention, he was there to like do that. So. 
He used to run into him even after they like left the neighborhood. Would run into him down there a few times. Nice guy. But his son, on the other hand. Yeah. Kinda weird. I've been playing ATS too much from trying to look left in my cab to look out. Oh yeah. All right. Doesn't lean out. <laughs> Not at all. Jam toast. Like just toast with like jam jelly on it, something like that. Here. Yeah. Why not? Dude, I put I put grape jelly on my sausage biscuit from Hardee's. Come on, get on my level. <laughs> I don't do that every time. My dad does though. He's a strawberry jelly jam guy. Whatever it is, he's all about that. All right, watch this. Watch this sweet move here, Chet. Probably gonna oversteer and like spin out. Oh nope, slowed down enough. Look at that, it actually worked. Okay. There we go. Right. Are they gonna lift the hook on that yellow one yet? I don't know. I don't know. Like they rushed it out there and then they. Well, they probably had to rush it to get it off the road. No, they can only keep the road closed for so long. Biscuits and apple butter. See, I'm not an apple butter guy. I don't. I don't care for apple butter. Dad, on the other hand, apple if you if you want to make friends with my dad, you buy him apple butter. Like everybody, that's yeah. Oh, click back in. There we go. Several people have gotten dad apple. Like that's that's dad's like go-to apple butter. He's all about it. In fairness, I haven't tried it since I was a kid, but I didn't like it at that time. But I also strawberry jam. Strawberry is okay. I'm more of a, like a grape jelly guy. You know. Now, back when we had strawberries at the farm, we made homemade strawberry. That stuff was that's, fire. That's kind of different. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Troy. How's it going, buddy? Welcome in. Your buddy's family makes apple butter? Oh. All right, need to get some from my dad. <laughs> they sell it. Mm. I might have a hookup. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know somebody that makes apple butter too? Uh, yes. Nice. Matter of fact, it's usually an all day event that involved pretty much uh, the whole family. Oh, is it, is it your family? Yes. Uh, actually my wife's family. Oh, okay. Cool. That's good. That's cool. <laughs> yep. Very cool. They got like their own like trees and stuff. Like the whole nine. No, they usually they usually uh, go get the apples. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Uh, but no, this is something they it starts cooking at about four something in the morning. Oh wow. And they don't stop, huh? Nope, it stir constant. Oh wow. Uh, two huge copper kettles. Oh wow, that's cool. That's cool. And that kind of stuff's neat. It, yeah, usually yeah, over regular open wood fire. Wow. And uh, usually get done. And let's see, what time? That's yeah, ten or eleven at night. Do they do this for their own use or do they like sell it? Oh, own use. Wow. Like that. They must really like apple butter then, huh? It, well, it's not so much every year, but. Sure. Of course, it's kind of used to be, but. Yeah. They'll when... do it like every other. Okay. That's cool. You know, and kinda like it a, is a large family. So. I say kind of like a, like a family tradition in a way, you know, like mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. 
Reminds me of the days of uh, cooking uh, or baking Christmas cookies. <laughs> yeah. It's an all day event, too. Yeah. Well, on uh, as far as my uh, wife's family, on her dad's side, yeah. he's one of 16. So oh. you know, it's, it's a pretty big. I thought we had a big family over here. Dang. That's a big family. Mm -hmm. That's a big family. Wow. See, over Six. here, it's like really some families. To this. Oh. So yeah, you start talking that many. It. Yeah. Uh, Troy has a good question. Why do they call it apple butter? Is there actually butter in it? I don't know. Uh, thanks for the host. Appreciate you. I assume it's more than just <laughs> apples, right? What else is in apple butter? Uh, Deasonings. Yeah, so I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> I have no clue what's in apple butter. Maybe we need to Google this. Uh, main ingredients that I know of got apples, sugar, cinnamon. Okay. That's that's about it. And just we get cook little it. deviations here and there, but sure, sure. Yeah, everybody's gonna but, have yeah. their own like family recipe, right? Yeah. And then let's see, as far as where the term apple butter comes from, I I'm not sure. Yeah. Maybe I it's like it's incredible. real thick. Yeah. I should try it again next time Jack gets some because I, when I was a kid, I hated it. Could not stand it. Apple sugar and spices. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. So oh, it's so it's basically applesauce that is just cooked for a long period of time. Interesting. In 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 a way. Yeah, that's what the Wikipedia says. <laughs> nice, Troy. Troy was on the Google. Yeah. Appreciate you. That's interesting. I didn't I didn't realize yeah. that. I'd probably like it though, Blender honestly. And thick. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I really I really enjoy applesauce. I should try it again. Need to go get dad some apple butter. Need to go to like an Amish store or something, you know? Like they usually have pretty yeah, good that's, apple that's butter. That's pretty good to go to. Yeah. Amish. I went to this one Amish store once in northern Missouri and they had like gummy bears and like all this stuff that you could find like off Amazon <laughs> they were selling. They're like, we made it. It's like, no, you didn't. No. You didn't make a five pound gummy bear. Sorry, you didn't do that. In the same packaging that you can find them on Amazon in. <laughs> yeah, we got some stores around here that need similar. Um, yeah. They're not Amish, but they're, it, it's like that. Yeah. Um, and there's one that you mentioned gummy bears. They uh -huh. actually do make their own. Oh, wow. You cannot get a store-bought one that tastes like these. Oh, but that's I mean, awesome. Yeah. yeah huh. Whatever flavor it's supposed to be, it actually tastes like it. Oh, wow. There's no dis no mistaking it. Some apple butter tastes like trash? I'm sure, yeah. Uh, yeah. Troy, last time you had applesauce, your seven-year-old was a baby. Applesauce is great. We used to buy about like the big, the big, you know, jug, jar, whatever. But you always forget about it in the fridge. And every time you go to get it out, it's moldy. And so it was like, this is, this is crap. So dad started buying like the little cups. And oh, those you just go through. I probably have, I mean, I eat it with my dinner a lot, like probably four or five nights a week. Honestly, it's like, yeah, hey, grab an applesauce too. Why not? So apple keeps the doctor away, right? Or something. Yeah, I, I actually think it's really good. I enjoy applesauce quite a bit. All right, 
Back up the field we go. These short passes over here, you know? Mm -hmm. Gotcha, Troy. I like spaghetti sauce is one that goes bad a lot, too. Like, we do a better job nowadays of, like, going through it. But back in the day, it was like you have that jar that's been sitting in your fridge forever. No, I got you, Troy. Unfortunate. Applesauce from Aldi in the squeeze pouch. All right, Aldi's got some pretty good stuff. I haven't shopped there in a while, but used to. Mom really liked Aldi. So she, we would go there all the time when she was alive. She really enjoyed it. I was never the biggest Aldi fan, but she liked it, so we went there. Yes, I went. My grandfather was I we always went to uh Sam's Club. I like Sam's Club. I like Sam's I, Club is like really great. I like buying in bulk. But not doing what we used to do where it was like Hey, let's fill a freezer and then not touch it for ten years, you know. That's the way it used to be around here. No. Not a good idea. We always like to go in there getting the, the big Reese's. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Turn, combine, turn. It's actually where we bought. We have a bunch of round plastic tables for like pumpkin day. We bought all those at Sam's, and we have like eight foot log tables too. They all came from Sam's as well. All about Sam's, like Sam's, especially with the app. Uh, Troy, definitely not trying that one. Mustard on water Malone. No. How about ranch? So. How about ranch on, uh, what's it called? Cantaloupe. Apparently that's really good. That don't sound very deep. No, <laughs> not at all. I don't like cantaloupe. I do like ranch. But not cantaloupe. Not a cantaloupe fan. We're growing yeah. cantaloupe, though, this year. Yeah. I like both, but together? Eh, no, no. Apparently, it's it with ranch. Don't sound right. Yeah. Cantaloupe and ranch. Yeah. You well, big cantaloupe and ranch guy, John? No, I've never tried it. Oh, I was thinking about yeah. it because we'll have cantaloupe here soon, you know, in maybe another couple weeks or a month. We'll have TikTok cantaloupe. right there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I could, I, we can make a reaction video to what's her name? Stitch. Huh? Stitch a stitch? Way. Oh, I thought you said something else. I was like, bro, don't call her that. Jeez. I thought you just wow. said a bad word. And I was like, she's not at all. She's a very nice lady. Sure. Arson, clean your mouth up, boy. Johnny. Huh? What's up? Huh? Applesauce? What's up? All right. Uh, yep. Booster. Yep. Wind lift. Wind lift. Hashtag wind, wind lift. Wind hop. No, wind lift. Wind hop. Wind orbit. Uh, not soon enough. Not July. Watch your profanity. That's right. That's right, Troy. Watch your profanity. I thought he said a bad word. I really did. I was like, wind engines. Oh. Hopefully it has them in there. At least some. I would imagine with the road closures next week, I'm going to guess that it already has engines in it. I don't think it's got a skirt, though. The engines are supposed to be sticking out a little. Are they? Yep. I don't know. Because yeah, when it went by on the NSF, uh, and it didn't look like it had any. Oh, really? I missed it. Darn. I would assume... Unless they're like gonna roll them out to the pad like real soon here. I don't know. Did you? You stand on top of that. You're almost as high as Jeff will be. <laughs> My dad and I were watching that rocket launch yesterday, and like during the the boost back burn, 
I was like, yeah, this this booster's like literally going up, turn around, coming back, and it's still higher than Jeff's gonna go. Oh, you know the Branson guy that owns Virgin Orbit? Richard Branson? I mean, I don't yeah. know him, but yeah. Okay, you've heard of the guy. I, I absolutely. On their, yeah. on their webcast, because they had a rocket launch. They I watched part of it. their first operational flight. Huh? Like, right as the actual plane was taken off, the tarmac in Mojave. Okay. They, they cut to an interview with him, and, he's, and then the interviewer person was like, so are you and Jeff Bezos in a race to get to get into space? And he goes... Um, I'm sorry, Jeff who? <laughs> like, live on air, he said that. And then the... Oh, Richard Branson. I knew I always liked him. And then the, and then the person hosting goes, Jeff Bezos. And then she just, like, understood what he was talking about. <laughs> it just started laughing. It was great. What's it like to just, like... Because he's another one that has, like, you know, stupid amount of money, right? Yeah. But what's it like to have that kind of money where you just don't care and you can just say whatever you want? Like, that's great. Jeff who? Jeff who? <laughs> who? He just got hooed on live TV. Yeah, right? <laughs> but he did. And he probably, like, you know, fired an employee because of it or something. Oh, wait, he doesn't have to fire any. They all quit. Never mind. True. 150% turnover rate for Amazon. Uh-huh. Over in, I think it's Collinsville, Illinois. There's a huge Amazon facility, and they have nobody to work because they've already gone through the population of Collinsville. And, like, nobody else over there wants to work for Amazon. <laughs> it's kind of amusing. Like, they're going to have to start bussing people in. There. But you could come over and say hi. We can go have... But it's Amazon. We could have we could uh, have lunch at Wadalata Creek, and then you wouldn't be able to do anything the rest of the day because you need so much. Wada Wada Creek. Wada Wada That's Creek. The restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's really good too. It's like massive portions of really good food. Interesting, Sean. Or not Sean, Troy. Kiwi strawberry salad. Interesting. I don't really like strawberries. Like I'm I don't mind the flavor or the texture. It's the seeds on the outside. I don't like. So I actually used to peel strawberries, which I know sounds really insane. No shot. Yeah. Uh, that was back when we were growing them. I would peel them and then eat them. <laughs> Dude, I, I like think our quarries are done now. Right. But with all the resetting we've had to do. Yeah, they're nowhere near done. Yeah. They're nowhere near. Ridiculous. Getting kind of tired of the whole having Jeff to re who? roll it back all the time. Corey who? What? Who? 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 Owl? Yes, who? One of us here is possessed by an owl. Guess who? Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Got him. Got him. I have a video. How was your millennial video last night, John? So here's what ha ha See what ha happened was. <laughs> wow. Uh, I was. So in the last video that I made, right? Yeah. I wrapped up the harvest. Where did? Okay. Did your hot dog omelet get to you? No. And <laughs> so to kind of roll into the next video I field works kind of boring you know because I automate it all so yep. I was That's why you start a second map you're actually not wrong I've been thinking a lot about it don't worry don't hurt yourself but basically it was just like watching field work and and well Australia and selling straw yeah and uh yeah I only got to like early winter last night so I played the whole like for hours last night but like I'm just not really digging seasons. I'll be honest. Like I just you do a lot of fast timing for no reason. I kind of just don't like it. So I got you, Troy. I got you. I've never tried both of those together. Might be interesting. Now, like my whole like not liking strawberries. It's a thing. 
but like whatever that was last year or in I think that would have been like early last year we went out to our like old neighbor's property and yeah. like had dinner with them and stuff she made strawberry shortcake best thing ever dude was. it was fantastic <laughs> Uh, they said follow up for Shiji. You. Welcome in. How's it going? I've never eaten strawberry shortcake before, but I was going to eat it to be polite, you know? Because, you know, you're, at, like, some, you're, at, you're addicted. You're at somebody's know. house and they, like, you know, make you dessert. You should probably eat it. And uh, I was in love with it. It was so good. We also ate uh, venison that night. Didn't know that till after we ate it, but, you know. Not good. But did you die? No. She makes this mean, uh, like, muscatoli, like a big pasta, like, pasta thing. I know what it is. Yeah. And and she makes it with venison instead of ground beef. I'm not 12. I'm 13, John. Come on. Oh, wait. <laughs> What's TOS? <laughs> 13. <laughs> There's some random clips I did not know got made. Must have been while I was gone Monday. Yeah? I was kind of skimming through them last night. And... Yeah. There's some random ones. Who clipped them? I don't know. It doesn't show that the way I went through it. Oh. But it was probably one of the clips that, like, oh, either accidentally got clipped or, like, uh, had, like, one view by, like, a bot account or something. Arson, did you upload more animated emotes? Arson did, I? did make oh, one the other day. I did. I haven't really. I've seen, I've seen it, but not really at the same time. It's the uh, American flag that's behind me. Arc is animated now a little bit but nothing new today Troy no no the the meat was great we just didn't know it was venison my aunt was the only one that kind of freaked out but and it was venison from like their property where we were at like they have nature in their backyard so he could stand like on the deck and you know do his thing if he wanted to kind of crazy but they like it, so. Good for them. Yeah. No, they're... Actually, it's a really, like, cool story of the, the two of them. It's like, they're both in their 60s, right? And the lady that lived across the street from me forever, she's super nice. Super nice lady. She's a nurse, or was uh, some kind of nurse at a hospital yeah. forever. And she had a uh, husband of hers that died from something. I forget what it was. Probably cancer or something, right? Okay. Uh, Troy, that uh, the American flag is new since my last stream, but yeah, it's all good. What did it yesterday? Oh. Sean just got it, too. I don't know. Oh, no. Weird. Anyway, so like, she had to go through like losing a husband and I think she lost a boyfriend too like a couple years later or whatever she had a boyfriend and I think she lost him too and so she kind of just like swore off men like she's the black widow not gonna like you know be involved with a man because whatever right yeah kind of living her life and oh wow she, like him the guy he actually lost his wife like in a really bad way really tragic cancer took a long time so like really a lot of time in the hospital with her and like really had to go through it you know yeah. and so he had kind of wasn't wanting to get close to anybody and then for some reason my neighbor lady decided that she wanted to get into beekeeping and that's how they met wow. was at like some beekeeper meeting or something and they met and they like he like moved in pretty fast and now they have a house together and I don't think they're getting married because they both decided that they, that's not what they want, but they're going to have like a, uh, a commitment ceremony or something, which is cool. It's just cool that like they can, you know, find happiness kind of later, later on, you know, I think that's really neat. So it's a really cool story between the two of them and they're both just super nice people. Like, they are some of the nicest people you could ever, ever meet. Really, really sucked when she moved out of this neighborhood. She was, she's great. Oh, yeah. 
But now if we go like to see her or anything up to her, her new property where that they got, there's a Casey's around the corner. So I'm okay with it. But, like last year we went up there and cut the grass for him. And then of course had to get Casey's a couple times, you know, that's what we do. Uh oh, Carson, you mentioned it earlier when that airplane went over. Sounds like it's neighbor Mo Day. Mo Day, baby. It's a day that ends in Y, right? So. Yep. He's mowing. So does Mo Day. It ends in Y. Mo Day, baby. <laughs> I'm looking at my camera, but I think it's the guy that's right next to us here. Dude, we almost called the fire department last night. Really? Buddy across the street. Had a fire going in his backyard, but for a split second, it looked like it was the house. Oh. Like all this smoke, and it was what made me kind of go, "No, it's not a fire." It was like white smoke, and I would assume most of your house stuff is going to burn with black smoke, like black you know, smoke. vinyl siding or a roof. And so, right. Dad was like leaving anyway, and he like went around the block and looked, and he's like, "Yeah, it's out in the middle of his backyard," but he's out there just like burning something. Like tree debris or something I don't know but it was the smokiest darn fire I'm surprised the fire department didn't show up surprised nobody called him in like right at sunset and just way smoky crazy that's okay and I know why the guy's moaning right now because it hasn't rained in like four hours so you know he better get it in before, before it rains again here But today the storms are moving south. Yesterday they were moving east. The other day they were moving north. And now they're moving south. So we do have some rain coming, it looks like. Just a little bit. Goodness me. Never enough rain, huh? Oh, Carson, you're going to get whopped. Wait. I know. Why do you think I? Why do you think I mowed in like the ninety-six degree heat today? Ninety-six, huh? Feels like it was ninety-six. Humidity, though, am I right? Fifty-eight percent. Right now. I got a picture to send you. Yeah, say it's all going like south of me too. Yeah, it's weird today. I need to edit it though, because it's got an address on it. What rhymes with Thursday? We have been doing Taco Tuesday lately. Like, four Thursday, or four Tuesdays in a row. Hey, uh, Troy, my PayPal link is... Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm kidding. I appreciate it, man. I'm glad to be here. Uh, Steven, I don't know. What rhymes with Thursday? Besides, like, you know, we're thirsty. Thirsty Thursday. Um, thirsty Thursdays. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Going to the bar chat. See you later. Uh, whatever. Go get me some White Claws. <laughs> Sorry, Bud Light Seltzer. I'll be like Timmy. Um, I don't know, though. I don't know. Definitely thirsty. Thirsty Thursday. Turkey dinner Thursday. I don't think I have any turkey in my... I have like lunch meat turkey. That's about it. I actually want to get... Uh, Mom used to make this thing where you'd basically take like... French toast. And like some deli meats. And then you would... Uh, uh, French toast and deli meats and Swiss cheese and make like sandwiches out of that. I want to make that. Arson, is that your mo job that you just did? Yeah. It's not at your house, is it? Nope. Oh, you know, new grass in the front yard. Ah, uh, this looks awful shady, huh? Yeah. Good luck growing grass there. That's why that's the grass is brand new. Yeah. The old grass they put into the not growing shade. The grass you got to reseed every th like three months, right? 
very know. very patriotic with the flag too you like that looks great love to see it love to, love to see it i should put my spotlights back out huh yeah light up the house red white and blue done that in a while when was the last time your flags last time i had lights out was christmas Boy. yeah i haven't put lights out since but i'll see like some that i had out last year most of them that I had out last summer, I had to throw away and buy new because they were like full of water and they stopped oh. working. Even though they claim they're like weather rated. Not at all. They have new spotlights that you can control with your smartphone though. I've been kind of eyeing them on Amazon, but I'm like, no, I don't need them. I have plenty of other spotlights. But I do like my spotlights. Probably a little too much. But that's okay. I didn't want to miss that one row there. I had to back up for a trip. Well, Sarge, you're knocking out a huge chunk of this field over there. Yeah, I'm just been rolling. Um, yeah, I'm over here on the short rows. It kind of sucks. Not going to lie. <laughs> Somebody has to do it, right? Oh, yeah. Actually, I should have been driving like all the way across the top of the field. Make your pass a shorter and mine. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I'll be done here in a minute and I'll start on long, long passes. So then, That's chat, good... if I do turkey dinner Thursday, do I have like fajita Friday? <laughs> How does that work? Okay, if we're doing that, when's where's pizza fit in? Every day? Poor man's Reuben. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Bert. Nice, Troy. What'd you say for Saturday, Carson? <laughs> or what's... Well, if we're doing like fajita Fridays, turkey dinner Thursdays, taco Tuesdays, when's pizza fit in? Pizza. All the time? Anyway? Every... Thanks for that follow. Appreciate Every you. Every other welcome. day. <laughs> pizza. That doesn't. You'd have to be like. Why would you say this? I don't even know how you would fit that to... to exactly. Margarita Pizza Monday. I don't know. Margarita uh, Pizza. I don't eat margarita pizza, but anyway. Gotta have me some meat, you know? I like that meat. Oh. Uh, you could have, like, three meat pizza Monday. Nope. <laughs> What's up? What's up? How's it going? Crash, bro. Steak Sunday. Uh, salmon Saturday. Oh. I don't eat salmon. I would say you get salmon where you're at. We got other problems, dude. It's it's here. It's just kind of, ugh. You know? Yeah. Meat lover Monday. Oh yeah. There we go. I appreciate that follow as well. Yeah, Meat Lover Monday. There you go. I'm down. Five years, Special Pet. Almost. MLM. Almost, buddy. That's crazy, man. Uh, sausage oh. Sunday. <laughs> what? Hold up. Hold Tanner. Up. Yes, Luke Combs. It's me. How's it going? What's up, man? But I just put that. Which sandwich Wednesday? <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, man. The only one I actually do is Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Hey, LeBron. That's right. I say it like that, too, when I walk in my house on Tuesdays before I make it. Walk in, be like, Taco Tuesday. Oh, that's right, special pet. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's Taco Tuesday. Oh, oh, back it up. Come on, GPS, lock it in. We're locked. All right, I'm on long rows with you now, Sarge. Lightly. All right. 
finally, finally find it. I don't know what that is. Roy, I don't know what that is. No, let me Google. That's a song? I don't know. When I open my Google, I just get apple butter stuff now. <laughs> uh, After searching it earlier. <laughs> don't even want to know. We were talking about apple butter. Yeah. Yeah, Drake, yeah. Ranch flavored corn nuts. Yeah, I don't know about those uh, special pet. I don't know. Have you tried ranch in, uh, 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 what's it called yet? Antelope. Antelope. Pickles. Uh. No, oh, thank you. Apple butter on freshly made toast. Right. Thanks. Uh, well, that changed. <laughs> you take two pieces of bread and eat them and wish you had something in between. <laughs> I'm going to go in the house and say that's what's for dinner tonight. <laughs> I'm totally going to say, I don't know what I'm making yet, but that's what I'm going to tell them that we're having. Oh. <laughs> uh, did anybody else eat mayonnaise sandwiches as a kid? Because I sure did. Literally bread and mayo and that's it. Oh, uh, why am I fat? I don't know. You tell me. Our good old cheese sandwich, like cheese and bread. Man. <laughs> yep. My aunt will like really freak out if I tell her that's what we're having for dinner. It'll be hilarious. Oh, we got a hook going up. We have an airborne hook. Wind, wind flight hook. It's going. So I guess we've never seen rigging for this, uh, for a booster like this, huh? Kind of different. Yeah, I'm literally going to tell my family that's what we're having. Be hilarious. I'm not going to put my aunt on TikTok. I wouldn't do that. I would not do that. It'd be hilarious, though. <laughs> I'm yelling at you on your video, by the way. Why? Because. What video? I didn't make what one video. Today. What video? Yeah. Why are you yelling at me? You'll see why if what you did I watch do? it. Yeah, Drake. Yeah. Oh, in the clip video? Yeah. Uh, you gotta watch it first. That sounds like work. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hook going up. Do you see that? Yeah, I'm watching it. Going up. Oh, and Multitasking, up. editing. Watching your potato stream and... Got a nice Fish. spreader bar in there. See that? <laughs> it looks so different. Did you watch that Miller Industries video the other day? Yeah. About the spreader bar. I didn't realize they made a tiny one. Yeah. Wait, Special Pat, why is your wife mad at you? What'd you do? What'd you do? Fire pickle. That's something to do with pickles, right? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Troy. I'll let you know. I'll report back tomorrow. I'll let you know if they uh, if they know what what I'm talking about. Okay. I'll let you know. Oh. All right. Oh, oh! It's today's Canada Day. Forgot about Happy that. Happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. Matt just posted the Discord. I had it Phil. <laughs> Phil shouldn't be working today then, huh? 
What do you bet he is? Phil's probably still working. That man works a lot. He's getting his graphics card before you do. Uh, I don't have a problem with that. Have to go see if I want to laugh. Okay. I'll look it up later, special pet. Or you can send it to me on Snap or something. I'll check it out later. I will check it out. Uh, I mean, the problem right now is I don't want to pay three grand for a video card, you know? That's my issue. I don't want to do that. So, maybe I try like the whole micro center thing, but I, I don't know. I don't see myself doing that, to be honest. Like going down there and entering in a lottery to, to see if you like get the card you want or whatever. I don't see that. I was really hoping Frank and Crane would lift the booster. But I don't know why. But it's really crazy looking at this on NASA Space Flight uh, YouTube stream they're doing right now. Like, they started with Starhopper, and it's so tiny. And that's just the thing that's going to carry the thing to space. That's not even the thing that's going to space right now. It's like, it's crazy. Absolutely insane. What are we going to have, Sarge? Four trucks, maybe? This whole field? Uh, maybe. Because I just emptied both of these. Okay. All right, Special Pat, thank you. Uh, my phone went off, so I'll check it out later. I will check it out later. For some reason, they're not paired up with my headphones anymore. I got to figure that out. I don't know what happened there. And actually, I'm coming up on a... 70%, so I'm going to need an empty here soon. Here in a little bit anyway. For another round or two, probably. I will say, probably won't go an extra hour tonight like I did on Tuesday. <laughs> probably won't do that tonight. Which it actually worked out because one of dad's like old customers that like recently was back in the spring he sold or back over the winter actually he sold his like lawn care business he happened to stop by and talk to dad yesterday on tuesday so dad was like super late getting home but i was also super late making dinner it worked out it was perfect like dinner was ready as soon as he came home like man i was good i got this you know great Oh, yeah. Good talk. Mm -hmm. Cause that's always the, the strat is to try to get dinner ready, you know, roughly when he comes home. Try to be nice. Don't want it sitting there too long because then it gets nasty. Never want that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, no, uh, night stream tonight. Nope. I'll be here tomorrow playing Automation Empire, though. Tomorrow night. Hopefully, uh, gold plates will happen. No, gold plates oh. will happen tomorrow. There goes the transporter stand. I see that. For the Might power as, stand. That as well. Yeah, gold plates will happen tomorrow, and who knows what else. Welcome in, guys. What's going on? Here comes the next one. Yeah. Nice. They don't waste time there, do they? Maybe that's why they brought an engine section. Maybe they, I don't know. Those bulls should have had engines on them, right? Yeah. Huh. Theoretically. Kind of weird. 
Now, would those technically be the ones that brought out the booster or the ones that brought out the tower? Uh, it's the tower, because it's not a circle. No, not that. Like, the actual transporter things. Like, did no. they drop the booster and then, like, drive them out? Maybe. Packers underscore for Thewin just mm -hmm. resubscribed for 37 months. 37 months, holy cow. Packers, thanks for the 37 month resub. How's it going, my guy? Welcome in. You know, like, I, we don't, we can't tell from here, like, are the transporters still underneath the booster uh, or not? because of that wall there. Yeah, I know. Get rid of your wall, SpaceX. Do better. Yeah, come on. Let us see it. Or let, I should let NASA Space Life put a camera, like, on top of those tanks on the right or something. Yeah, on the old tank farm. Wouldn't that be cool? Have a 360 cam up there? Oh, come oh. on. Yeah. That'd be lit. That would be lit. Oh, man. It is, uh... It's that time, boys. About my 3 o'clock break time. Gotta love it. Oh, that's what happened. What was that? Nothing. Oh. And I hope I make the end of the pass here. Kind of full over here. 93. I might make it. I kind of hope I do. Oh, those transporters are still underneath though. See the, see the weight stacks there? Yeah. Yeah. I figured they wouldn't let go, so if they need to roll it around a little bit more, they could. Yeah. I haven't moved that crane. Ninety-five percent. Oh boy. We're gonna be close. Uh, NASA space flight, Troy. They rolled out a uh, booster, like a full stack booster today. It's not going to fly, but it's for testing reasons, but it's still cool to see. Time to hydrate. Yes, it's on their YouTube. Time to stretch my legs. That's mostly why I take a three o'clock break. Get up and stretch. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just dump a little sorghum all over the cab. No big deal. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Because why not? Why not? I will be back. All righty. Well, I'm probably going to do the same. All right. All good. All right. Special pet. Yes, I do. But I don't like the awkward like, hey, guys, hang on. And like, I don't, I don't, I don't. Care for it, you know? That's all. I just don't like doing it during stream. Uh, but I do use it quite a bit. I just don't like it. Uh, I don't like doing it during stream, you know? Anyway, I will uh, I will be back in a couple of minutes. And uh, we'll continue the field. BRB.